Hi, this is April. Welcome back to my channel. I did something really stupid and I wanted to warn you so you don't make the same mistake that I did. With the Sony ZV-E10 being out of stock everywhere and people on eBay trying to charge twice as much, for a camera that cost only $699, people were trying to sell it for upwards of $1,200. And I was really excited when I came across the site Willoughby's Camera Emporium. They were selling it for only $6.69. And I knew that was too good to be true. And boy, was it. I'm going to show you their website. Just be aware of what can happen. So here's their website. I was a little leery because as you can see, they're only charging $6.69. I'm going to go on the description. Nowhere in the description do I see where it says it's an international version. So the day after I placed the order with this company, praying they were legitimate, I received a call from a salesperson saying, you ordered the international version, don't you want the U.S. version? The U.S. version is $1,099. In my desperation to get the item, and not really knowing the difference between what the international version and the U.S. version would be, I agreed to the upcharge, which was so stupid on my part. Because when I received the item, only two days later, they do have incredibly fast shipping, which is a good thing, but when I received the item, it wasn't on your normal setup screen where you choose English as your language and set the date and time. It was on a screen where you switch it between NTSC for North America and PAL for Europe. So I don't know the real difference between a US version and an international version. I honestly think the same camera would work any place. I have gone on some websites where they say that the international version just has a different warranty. But I feel like if you're not going to put that this is some kind of an international version anywhere in your advertising and then call the person after they make the purchase, that is a bad business practice. So I just wanted to warn you so you don't make the same mistake that I did. And even though I paid for the U.S. version, I still do believe that I got a gray market version because it gives me a warning saying running in NTSC and I found on some articles that Sony does that in their firmware. If you buy a camera specifically meant for the PAL region, which would be Europe, it's to dissuade people from buying on the gray market. So even though I paid the $1,099, I still do believe that I got a European version which isn't the end of the world, but still, I think I, I got scammed in more ways than one. So I did call Willoughby's Camera Emporium and they did answer very quickly. And the gentleman showed me exactly where to find the information that this is the international version. You have to go to product includes and right down here, it says brand new factory fresh import model. He says that it will come in the Chinese language and it will not come with English. He says you would have to download software for it to have English. He said that's why this one is only $6.69. So the moral of my story is do not be manipulated by any online company trying to price gouge you. If something is out of stock, be patient wait for it to come back in stock. B&H Photo has a service that if you give them your email, they will alert you when the product comes back in stock. See, now look, everything's back in stock. I could have paid $6.98 and not been fooled into spending $1,099 from Willoughby's Camera Emporium. If you have any advice on the difference between the international version and a U.S. version of a camera besides possible differences in the warranty, let me know. I was thinking maybe there'd be a difference on the plug that comes with the adapter, but let me know in the comments down below. And don't make the same idiotic mistake that I did as a camera newbie. 
If you like this video, give it a like. I hope this was helpful. Consider subscribing and follow me on my journey as I learn about cameras and find the best one for me. Thanks so much for watching.